trying this again. I keep forgetting to turn um, my volume up when I make these things. So Kathy Guggenauer, expert VA training, business coach and trainer here with you this afternoon with a tip on how to come up with the .com, the URL, the domain name, all of those things mean the same thing for your virtual assistant business. And that was a question asked in our expert VA community this week. So if you have a question, post it. Depending on what the question is, I'll either answer it and other people in our group will help answer it in the comments just by typing it in, or I'll do a Facebook Live like this for you guys. So today, I'm doing a Facebook Live for you. So the first thing I want you to know about a .com name is that you do want to use .com. Don't use something else. Don't use .org or .me or .anything else. .com is still the most popular. I think it will always be the most popular for the foreseeable future. And if you don't use a .com, what's going to happen is the person who does have the .com of that name will be the person that gets people coming to them that were trying to come to your site. Okay, so work as hard, come up with as many different ideas as you have to have to come up with a .com name. Okay, uh, where to get it? I recommend GoDaddy. Everyone charges about the same price. GoDaddy has fabulous customer service. I really like working with them, so I recommend GoDaddy. And it's about $14.99 a year for your .com. So it's really, really inexpensive. Now, how do you come up with it? So, first of all, you have to already know what you're specializing in, okay? So there's no way you're going to be able to come up with a good .com name unless you know what you're specializing in. So that's the first thing what you're specializing in, and secondly, who you're helping, okay? So your niche, your target market. And I apologize. <coughs> Allergies are just driving me crazy. Okay, so once you identify that, then you're gonna be able to come up with a really good .com name. So for example, one of my favorite ways to come up with a good URL is to come up with a benefit of what you provide to your clients. And here's two good examples of that. Joyce Wright's URL is accomplishmoretoday.com because she helps her clients accomplish more. I love that one. A second one that's really good like that is wemarketyouprofit.com. And that is expert VA by the name of Don Garrett who has that one. So as you can see, both of those are really good benefits that your clients get. Another way to do it is to uh, use your area of specialization and describe that. Here's an example of how to do that. Cindy Winslow, who is a real estate VA, her URL is realestatesupportspecialist.com. Really describes very clearly who she is. So those are the two ways I recommend coming up with it. Either a benefit that your client is receiving or a description of what you do. All right, another tip. You need to identify the keywords that people are gonna to use to search for your website. Okay, you can do that by going and using a free keyword tool. Just Google free keyword tool and a bunch of different ones will come up. There's no great ones anymore. There's none that I particularly recommend anymore because they're all, they all have issues, but you can use them. And unless you're going to do SEO as part of your services, I don't re uh, recommend paying for, um, I had a bug just fly in my face. I don't recommend paying for a keyword service. So just use a free keyword tool to come up with keywords uh, that you're going to use on your website for people to find you. So for example, a keyword might be a uh, real estate virtual assistant, for example, that's a keyword. So using that term real estate virtual assistant, if that's a keyword that a lot of your potential clients would be using, that would be a great phrase to use in your URL. So come up with those list of keywords by doing some research, using a free keyword tool, and then you can play with those keywords to see if you can come up with a URL from there. So two more tips before I let you go. One is 
do a lot of brainstorming, come up with a bunch of different names, make sure you check on GoDaddy and make sure that they are available, and then post in our Expert VA community the names that you really like and let us give you some feedback on them. Because there will be different reasons why a word here or there doesn't make sense to us that you thought was really clever, um, and we'll give you good feedback on that. Second, uh, then once you come up with like the top two or three, call somebody that you know, friend, family member, whoever, who you have not talked with this about at all, so they don't know anything about it, and read those two or three URLs to them over the phone and one at a time and first ask them to spell it for you. So for example, accomplishmoretoday.com. How would you spell that? And if they spell it correctly, then you know it's a good URL. If they don't spell it correctly or they don't know how to spell it, it's a bad URL, okay? And it, it will amaze you the words that people don't know how to spell, okay? Um, so those are those two tips. And one more thing, because I mentioned this, don't get clever. You think, oh, this is gonna be so clever and I'm gonna use the letter U and the number four. And so VA, the, no, the number four, the letter U.com. No, because for the rest of your career, you will be having to tell people VA, the number four, the letter U.com. And that's a pain in the butt, I can tell you, because I made all those mistakes. So those are my recommendations for you on how to come up with a great URL. And most of all, you're going to have to be patient, do a lot of brainstorming, double check by posting your ideas in our expert VA community and making phone calls to at least three friends and asking them, number one, do they know how to spell it? And number two, I forgot the number two thing, what does it mean to them? Okay. And these are people who know nothing about you yet, but, so that's going to be a really good test for you. All right. Hope this is helpful. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye.